Hey everyone, Real Fan Lily back for another video. Um, I know it's been a while since I posted, and I figured it's getting towards the Christmas season. I might as well show you guys what's become of my city. So, uh, a lot has started to unfold because it's the fall rush of building um as you can see we have some new rigs also um if you see these around i've been slowly replacing all my red nether brick with border blocks just because it looks a little bit neater for red so if you see that don't be alarmed that's something new i've been doing so it's all still vanilla um Currently, nothing has really changed much in the ways of, uh, towards River City, which is beyond the highway, except for this new firehouse that's just sitting here. It's a much smaller one. Um, other than that, most of the expansion has been towards the uh, docks of the city, which is on the opposite end. Um, I've also been kind of playing a little bit more of Roblox because, well, I've been kind of getting burnt out by building constantly. But as you can see, we have water towers now. Uh, currently, not much has changed over here. Other than the fact that we have a few new houses and stuff. slowly kind of transitioning into building newer structures in this area, but I haven't gotten fully into it yet. Also, I'm thinking about starting to look at doing a tutorial for those two. Not even paying attention. <laughs> it's quite. It's getting quite late for me today. When I'm at the time I'm recording this, it's about getting towards eleven. I want to say. No, oh, sad. These have started to not look the same way it was originally. Yeah, it kind of sucks. I kind of like that design. Oh, well. Well, currently going through the city. We'll eventually get there. Uh, these are all retired out rigs. Well, put in storage rigs. A lot of these rigs I haven't really interacted with in, for quite a while. It's actually kind of sad to see some how far I've gone. And just know that this things have changed so much.
all my building designs have all changed for for the better it seems but <laughs> To think just how far I've come along with this journey of building the largest city I've ever known. Well, it's a lot. We've slowly been working on some more areas for industrial. This is the gas department. Going across the tracks, we should get into the much larger buildings I've been working on recently. I ought to connect that track eventually. But that's an old warehouse. We have the giant UPS distribution center. Or uh, USPS, sorry. USPS. The United States Postal Service. Got some more buildings over here. Along with the massive water tower. This is all part of the water department, which I have not finished working on, but I'll eventually get there. Um, I have to kind of backtrack to show you some of the new things that have been going on in the rail yard, which that is where a lot of the growth has been. I've been working a lot on it. Also, uh, music's going to be a bit sparse in my video since I don't have all my editing equipment anymore because my computer kind of died on me so anyways we're entering the yard it's almost the same as it was originally the two switchers and just a bunch of switch stands Here's another water tower as so we're passing it. Um, moving into the yard, um, I finally uh, rebuilt something I didn't think I'd be able to rebuild. The uh, Illinois E, Illinois Central. City of New Orleans, um, E8, which I had originally built, uh, way back when, but it wasn't exactly accurate, and I also made a B in it with it. So, um, I cannot remember if there was anything further down here. Because I think everything's towards the back. Oh, yeah. And, uh... Utah Belt. Ah, uh, that's an ES44AC. Uh, no, 
not much growth over here. I finally built the Talgo 6 series. Talgo 8 I had in one of my older worlds, but I've also updated it to the newer style coloring because brown concrete just didn't work for me. And then I built the uh, California or Caltrain. The safety train. I'm slowly working on that. I haven't finished it. Um, this is something that I brought back. WRC's excursion. The Western Railroad Company excursion. Um, unfortunately, I found some bad news about the past, and unfortunately, uh, well, Western Railroad Company, the uh, player who started it, will no longer be joining me for videos. At least not until I personally forgive him for, well, let's just say what happened is I found out he stabbed me in the back and, well, I'm not going to have that in a friend. I'm very, very picky about friends. Um, part of the, a new railroad that's popped up and it's actually from one of our the predecessors. Um, this is all Western Railroad Company, but a new predecessor has uh, joined the fleet. I just gotta remember where it is from here. That's close. Ah, right here, the Isiris and Western Railroad, or I W R. Isiris and Western was a part of the Castilia City Railroad, but I've lent it off to a friend of mine who wanted to start a rail, rail line. So I was able to bring back delivery and all that. Uh, I also have finally built every single Norfolk Southern Heritage unit. Oh my god, that was a pain and a half. Like, literally took almost a year to finish them all. Just doing one after the next is just painful. Um, yeah, right here. So, going through, we have you god i cannot remember off the top of my head there's too many 1065 1066 1067 1068 1069 the virginian uh 1070 1071 1072, 1073, and 1074. All those were the uh, Norfolk Southern SD70 ACE heritage units, whereas these are the ES44 ACs. 8025, 8098, 8099, which is the Southern Railway. 8100 Nickel Plate Road. That one actually was very interesting to do. Just because of how complex it is. 8101. And then 8102, which is Pennsylvania Railroad. 8103, Norfolk and Western. 8104, I believe this is Lehigh Valley. 8105, the interstate. 
8114, the original Norfolk Southern. Um, those were a lot that I had to figure out how to do. And of course, I've got the Cuyahoga Valley Railroad coaches. Some extra trains out here. The uh, switch tower. Or the yard tower. This is a Chicago and Northwestern F7. And then we have the Gen Set Switcher. Metro Coaches. I built this little uh, switcher here. But I gotta switch one last. Uh, at the time of recording this, I just finished with the other two trucks. Um, I just need to finish this side of this truck. I have not finished that side yet, so it is done. It just needs recoloring. Um, about 44, 49, and then some uh, different types of this design, which includes different types of locomotives, including a Hudson and a Berkshire. And it turned out really interesting. It was interesting to see how it all goes together. And it looks really good in my opinion. And then of course... The main shed. Or the forward shed. Which also has the yard office. The main yard office, which basically is where everyone gets their orders from. Now, we also have a water tower down here, as well as the main switch into this part of the yard. We have all our MP15 ACs out on the siding here. And as well as all of our high rails parked here. This is our steam locomotive shed where we've stored all of our steam locomotives. Well, not all of them. We have a lot more than this. It's just the ones we stored in here for now. We have Southern 630, 5588, uh, 738. Uh, this one's, one of them's the 4501, the other one I cannot remember for the life of me. Uh, not much has changed in the sheds except for a couple of new locomotives that have been introduced. Also, go to a closer look at that water tower. Going inside here, see some of the steam locomotives that are still here. The yard service class generation 1, 2, 3, and now 4, which has not been officially released, but I thought I'd share it with you guys anyways. And then this is the... I cannot remember what I called it, but I believe it was the... Uh, I believe it was a harbor service class or I cannot remember I'll have to look back at what I wrote at the in as because it was something I cannot remember what Um, as well as we have a radio tower there and we also have this switch tower, the signal tower that just sits here. 
has uh, another electronics box as well. That is actually based on the Grand Crossing one, but it's a little bigger. It's sized up. Uh, of course, we have the diverging tracks. And I actually brought back some older switchers that I built way back when. I'm like, one of my first worlds, actually. And these were now, these are now updated versions of the old uh, Canadian Pacific switchers that I built. As well as the Southern Pacific Snowplow. I also have the Southern, uh, the Western Railroad Company caboose over there. Stored on the siding. I don't think much has changed in here other than just has a bunch of uh, the 440 American types. This was the original uh, Western Railroad Company shops. We're now just using it for just working on locomotives. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go down this track. As this leads into something very special that I've been working on nonstop for hours for almost a week. <laughs> uh, this is the turntable for the roundhouse. Now, I don't think I'm going to do the angled track versions, but this would be really smart for... A, like a nice photo um, also behind this shop there a bunch of tracks are going to come out to a turntable and it's just going to be a turntable right there and then the yard switcher that pulls them in and out will be able to switch them of course not much has changed over here with the only the addition of these coaches. All the different versions of the Polar Express coaches. And then you have the the chassis system that I built a couple of years back. This coach. And uh, I want to say this is a Burlington Northern, but it's not really. I didn't really base it off of anything. Just the same colors. Of course, I moved all the booster units over there. <laughs> Rebuilt the Amtrak uh, fleet that I used to have. Of course, this one's the only one that's changed because it has a Phase 5 colored uh, tender. This is the other shop, as well as it has the turntable on this end. Over here, I don't think much has changed. Just, I stored all the heritage units in one spot. So that way I can start clearing out parts of the yard that has been just taken up of just, just builds that don't have to be there. So I'm looking for, I'm building storage tracks to store everything. And as we start looping back, I'm trying to remember what all's also changed. I just really love that curve. I don't know why, but that's one of the only curves in this yard that I'm very, very satisfied with. It's almost natural for that one. This one didn't do as well as I hoped. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I don't think much has changed on this end. As far as I can remember. Of 
Uh, I am looking to start working on Illinois Central coaches, by the way. That is something that I've been looking at doing because I haven't rebuilt him in a while. So I will eventually get there, but <laughs> it's a little too soon for me. Um, other changes that I've worked on, it's mostly just having to do with small touch-ups in areas of the city. I haven't really expanded it as much. Hmm. It takes so long to get through the yard now, and this isn't even the completed section. There's another section that I'm waiting until I get done before showing because, well, it's long in the, in the works. I've been working on another one of the stations. As well as there's a tiny little station over here that I'm still working on. Very, very tiny. Um, let's see here. Don't think anything has really changed at Station 51. Other than the collection of engines. Hmm. Yeah, not much has changed in the city. So I'm going while I'm flying around, I'm going over in my head at which uh, stations I have and other buildings that I've been working on. Uh, the high rise district has expanded very little because I haven't had time to work on it being uh, tasked with other things currently I more or less just fill out things that were not done yet like for example this block has been flushed out finally So it actually properly looks filled where it was supposed to be instead of those giant holes where buildings were supposed to be. So looks a bit more filled out, ready to go. And I actually finally, I say finally because this was way overdue. I finally finished that. This building was not done for a long time. Longer than it should have taken. It should have been done by now, so. Uh, now 
Now here we actually uh, have kind of decorated for Halloween, but most of the decorations were actually taken down because it's the event was over. We just have the few decorations left. Those won't take be taken down until Christmas. So, um. Other than that, I think that concludes the city updates. There hasn't been much in the terms of updates with Brookdale or River City or Springfield. So I'm not going to show those in this video because the, the changes are minor, like. A few here and there, and then that's pretty much it. So, currently, I've just been working on the rail yard, just getting that all filled out. So, without further ado, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video whenever that gets released, because uh, my schedule is very inconsistent. Thank you. Bye.